Hello, my name is Jan Mattes. I'm Chief Product Manager for Customer Engagement and Commerce in SAP Business by Design. And I'm now going to give you an overview about the customer engaging functionalities we offer with the SAP Business by Design CRM. So, first of all, the world uh, from, of customer engagement changed dramatically in the last 20 years. Customers are way more informed than in the past and they choose their own customer journey and the entry points for that customer journey is rather complex. It can be at any point in time. So the old picture uh, from where you had an awareness phase, an interest, desire and a purchasing phase and then finally you had the execution with delivering and invoicing and probably after sales service. This is no longer the way that many customers experience it. Uh, basically that waterfall approach is over. It's um, any point in time customer uh, can get into a purchase situation. You remember the situation, you get your invoice, with your invoice you get the information about a new product offering or an enhancement for your service um, and then uh, you start your buying journey um, all over and um, this is basically what changed. For businesses also the world has changed dramatically. Um, it's really the questions how many systems do you want to have which engage with customers and um, in the past you had more and more systems uh, which are independent and you choose the way to um, have multiple best of breed systems and to combine them and to connect them to each other. But that ended basically in lots of integration work on the one hand or in limited customer experience in terms of uh, fragmented processes which suddenly end uh, in a state where the customer cannot be uh, made happy anymore because um, it is a handover between two systems which breaks the connection. So SAP Business by Design customer engagement and commerce functionalities are different. They are um, embedded all in one solution in the digital, tour, digital core uh, of your ERP system. So that basically starts with uh, marketing and pre-sales communication, um, campaign management, but also lead and activity management all in one solution. Of course, providing also abilities to use that functionalities via groupware or, or mobile phones. Um, we have uh, a distinction now between low-touch sales and high-touch sales. So the well-known sales model is like high-touch sales. So you have a couple of sales employees and they spend lots of times with uh, a few selected customers. So also the products are rather complex. That is where Salesforce automation somehow started. Um, but also here the word has changed uh, with the um, availability of commerce and e-commerce. Um, sales went more automated and need to be automized uh, as much as possible to digest more consumers at a time to make selling quicker and uh, probably also to sell products which have a rather short sales cycle and at the same time having a, um, a high volume of customers per sales employee. And last but not least, um, Business by Design does not only offer selling um, in a high-touch or low-touch sales model, it also provides abilities for executing sales. That means delivering products, but also delivering services and directly confirming the service execution in the very same system that can be for standardized service, let's say facility management, or let's say um, uh, cleaning services. Uh, but it can also mean that you have an on-site or in-house repair scenario where customers send back their products, they get re um, repaired and then sent back and all the logistics efforts that will all be um, executed directly in business by design. And in the core of it, of course, customer engagement is about collaboration. Um, it's about cross functionalities also which make transparent um, where are your customers? In which state um, of um, are your customers currently? Are they happy? Is the sales volumes okay? Is the invoicing volumes okay? This is all included all in one system. So let's uh, have a deeper look into um, how you can um, execute marketing campaigns and uh, convince customers to buy products or to raise interest. Uh, basically, we have with Business by Design functionalities to create precise target groups, to directly execute campaigns, either by phone, letter, email. Also, if it's a mailing, you can do that in multi-language and also send the very same mail 
in a responsive manner to um, the mobile device uh, and to the desktop devices. Um, you have a powerful lead and activity management, which then um, is directly connected to the campaigns you execute. And that basically uh, gives you the ability to track the responses in one system and also to track the revenues which have been created um, by those marketing campaigns. So you have an uncompared ability to measure the success um, of your marketing campaigns directly in dollars and euros, so really in money. So um, uh, just to give you a feeling how such a marketing campaign might be executed, you will, let's say, start with a report, find all uh, high value customers from that report. You create a target group. Um, you use that target group by um, adding more people maybe you manually want to add. Um, create a campaign out of that, design a nice personalized and responsive email and send this out right away to your consumers. And then if someone creates a follow-up to that campaign, let's say like a sales order, this is already assigned to such a campaign. What about the high touch sales? So uh, as explained, it's really about um, companies which have rather complex and expensive products which usually have a long sales cycle and uh, um, a, a fixed amount of sales representatives which really spend a lot of time convincing customers to, to purchase products. So this is what you uh, have been knowing in the past as uh, Salesforce automation mainly. So you need a uh, powerful lead and opportunity management with the assigned activities which are automatically being created for the, such opportunities. You go further in the process by proposing um, offers to the customer, quotes, uh, and create orders. In those, you can directly check availability, and also you get automatically calculated prices, which can be customer specifics and can have also customer specific discounts. And then at the end of the day, it's about uh, delivery and invoicing. And um, uh, of course, it is important to be able to calculate also the taxes in a manner that um, it fits really to the local laws and, and uh, requirements. So here you see two screenshots basically about opportunity management, which might be the start for such a um, high touch sales model. You can create an opportunity directly with the assigned activities that your sales representatives should be following and should be doing. And uh, this is then also the perfect measure, not only to manage the sales pipeline um, uh, for each sales representative, but also to track uh, which activities have been conducted um, and uh, in which status those opportunities are. The execution um, of um, uh, sales and especially material sales is of course key and here it again proves that it's a high value to have it all combined in one digital core because you get a high degree of transparency. So as you can see here, um, you see directly from the sales order what outbound deliveries have been triggered, also which invoices um, have been sent out to the customers, and then also if those invoices have been paid or not. Service is, uh, of course, also one of our core areas, and here we split into three main areas that we support with Business by Design. It's first of all sending, selling standardized services, uh, recurring services, let's say based on sales contracts and do um, uh, a scheduled invoicing based on that contracts. We have project-based um, execution of services. So there you, let's say, have a consulting business and you have a project plan and from the execution of your project tasks, also the invoicing will be triggered and then finally Finally, we have um, the execution by service orders and uh, service confirmations and uh, based on service requests that might be in-house or field service repair scenarios um, and those include also spare part logistics and of course customer returns which are being sent back from the customers. So here is a, a view um, to depict a bit um, how um, invoicing and project uh, belong together. So you see here on the right hand side uh, the project uh, plan, uh, the timeline, and uh, as soon one of those tasks uh, really get marked as finished, then they end up in the invoicing uh, also with the details uh, who has been executing those tasks and that will be sent out uh, directly and that simplifies 
your project execution, but also your invoicing dramatically and leads to um, quicker payment because uh, it's really extremely tra transparent what happened in the project and you can directly see the very same information in your invoices. So what about low touch sales models? So um, the e-commerce, the web shop is of course the most uh, tangible example for having a low touch sales models. You have thousands of consumers buying your materials, your products and services. But it's not only limited to those web shops which you um, might be having. It can also be um, a configure price quote solution where you have let's say a subscription based a business model like uh, print on demand where you send out personalized letters and you want to measure how many pages have been printed for each customer and then invoice accordingly. All those scenarios can be directly connected to business by design not only by exchanging account and contact data via so-called standard web services. Um, uh, it's also about the execution. So basically the sales orders will be created or service requests can be created in business by design directly. And then at the end of the day, invoices will be sent out. And of course the services will be executed uh, or the materials will be delivered. And SAP business by design does not only provide 300 um, uh, uh, web services for all kinds of scenarios, which you can use um, to connect it to your point of sales applications. Um, you can also build your own web services using our OData workbench um, and um, uh, use of course any kind of middleware uh, which make integration uh, more robust and more stable. Let's have a quick look also on the invoicing. Uh, also here we have three main areas as mentioned. We have um, the ability to um, automatically invoice materials which get delivered or services which got executed via service confirmation. This is something like uh, a low touch invoicing approach. You don't need to think about anything because it's happening automatically. As soon the product gets delivered, invoices get, be get created. Um, of course, you can also have invoiced uh, schedules. That basically means if you have a standardized service or you have a project-based service, then uh, you, you have a plan for that invoicing and uh, those invoices will then be executed and sent out after um, the milestones have been reached. And then finally, in the project invoicing, you can of course also um, uh, integrate re time recordings or expense reports and also um, include third-party services or material consumption. So last, um, almost last but not least, um, all those processes that you have seen are um, tracked uh, by and built in an embedded analytics functionality which uh, do not only uh, uh, provide functionalities for planning and simulation, but more, most significant also abilities to see the reports, the key figures, and to directly drill into the action. Uh, and let's say uh, from a report, you can see which customers have open payments and then directly navigate to those customers and then uh, trigger, um, uh, let's say, a meeting with a customer if he did not pass uh, pay the uh, open invoices so far. So uh, here we provide more than 500 built-in reports and many of them are specialized for sales marketing and service employees. And it's really that the same reports which the employees use are also being used for managers and that um, provides a great deal of um, transparency and flexibility um, because you always use the same key figures and the same results um, in, in the, because it's all the very same system. So last slide here for that slot. Um, one of the biggest values of Business by Design theorem is the ability that you can flexibly extend um, the scope you want to use of Business by Design. And um, this is also the case for our CRM scenario. So you might be starting, let's say, at the beginning with a, a simple marketing to opportunity processing. Uh, later on, you might decide to also integrate your service business. And then f at the end of the day, it might be the full-fledged uh, uh, order to cash processes for products and services. You only configure that in the system with business language. So you can do that on your own. And most significant is also the central management of the master data. That means your sales organization, your marketing and service organization can be directly modeled in a tree in business by design. You enter also your products and your um, assignments 
to uh, accounts and organizations um, in the system and that um, gives a great deal of flexibility but also a great deal of control how your business and your sales service and marketing activities will be executed and then also tracked. So that was basically everything I wanted to share. I hope you like what you've seen and stay tuned.